2016 hasn't brought a fresh start to Haiti's election history. Allegations of fraud in last year's first round of voting have led to the indefinite postponement of a runoff election. The poll had been scheduled for January the 24th. Reports of cheating in the electoral process sparked outrage throughout the Caribbean country. It all started when the governing party's candidate, Jovenel Moise, received more votes than the opposition candidate, Jude Celestin, in the first round of elections on October the 25th. Following the declaration, several of the 54 presidential candidates accused Moise and electoral authorities of fraud. Celestin dismissed the results and withdrew his candidacy from the January runoff. Human rights groups say party monitors voted multiple times in exchange for bribes. Those monitors have been put in place to ensure the accuracy of the election process. Edouard Poltre, an election observer for the National Council of Non-State Actors, says, I saw two teams enter polling stations in shifts, and I saw each team vote twice. I am convinced the system was established to facilitate fraud. Haiti has been through decades of dictatorships, military coups and electoral fraud. Following the outcome of last year's election, opposition supporters took to the streets to protest the results. And the protests only intensified as the runoff drew nearer. The electoral board, CEP, postponed the vote the day before the runoff. Protesters remain on the streets and they say civil unrest will go on. The demonstrations will continue until the people are satisfied with their demands. That President Martelly leaves on February 7th. Then we will reform the Electoral Council and organize elections that the majority of the people can trust. And then the protests will stop.